In a world obsessed with digital connection, the truth is we're more isolated than ever. But what if I told you the secret to a fulfilling life isn't on your screen, but in what we've been avoiding? I challenge you to invest in genuine friendships. Despite the sacrifice and vulnerability, it could be the quick key to transforming your mental and emotional health. Get ready to discover how empathy, gratitude, and the courage to form new connections can unlock levels of happiness and satisfaction you didn't know were possible. Stick with me, and I promise you'll view human relationships in a new light that will spark your curiosity and maybe even stir up a bit of controversy. Shall we uncover this mystery together? And remember, stay strong and stick it out to the end, because I'll tell you a parable that will make total sense of everything I'm about to show you. First off, value true friendships. In a world where interactions often skim the surface, diving deep into true friendships is like discovering hidden treasures. These connections, authentic and rare, are like diamonds in their scarcity and invaluable worth. It's not every day we come across someone whose soul resonates with ours, where trust and mutual understanding bloom naturally. These relationships, forged in the fire of sincerity and polished by loyalty, demand our attention and care. Think back to the last time you felt truly understood or when you shared a comfortable silence with someone without hurry or pretense. These moments, though they may seem simple, are rare gems in a noisy and rushed world. They remind us of the invaluable worth of having someone by our side who truly knows us, accepts our flaws, and celebrates our victories as their own. Valuing these friendships means more than just acknowledging their importance. It involves nurturing them with acts of kindness, words of support, and above all, time. Time, that scarce and irretrievable resource when shared, becomes the fertile ground where true friendships grow and blossom. It's in the shared moments, the created memories, and the adversities overcome together that these bonds strengthen. But how do you keep this flame alive? First, be present, not just physically, but with your heart and mind. Listen attentively, not just to reply, but to understand. Celebrate the victories, but also be there in times of difficulty. The authenticity of your presence is the greatest gift you can offer. Secondly, communication is key. Share your thoughts and feelings, allowing vulnerability to strengthen the bond. And when disagreement arises, as it inevitably will, embrace it with respect and understanding. After all, it's in our differences that we often find new ways to see the world. Last but not least, celebrate each friend's individuality. Encourage them to pursue their dreams and be authentic, for it's in the acceptance of our uniqueness that true friendship blossoms. So the next time you're with those few chosen ones we call true friends, remember how fortunate you are. Like diamonds shining under the light, these friendships illuminate our lives, bringing joy, comfort, and a sense of belonging. Cherish them, care for them, and above all, be thankful for them. For they are, without a doubt, one of life's greatest gifts. Second, recognize the value of giving. The tale of the oak tree, a sturdy and generous entity, envelops us with its ancient wisdom, teaching us about the essence of giving without expecting anything in return. This gentle giant, with its branches stretched towards the sky, not only provides shade and refuge for those seeking shelter, but also nourishes the ground around it, generously sharing its resources. Similarly, we are shown the invaluable worth of altruism and sacrifice in human relationships, especially among friends. Offering support to someone, extending our own version of protective branches, even when it means giving up our own comforts, is a testament to the strength and depth of a true friendship.
This willingness to put another's needs above our own, to make personal sacrifices for the well-being of a friend, is what solidifies lasting and genuine bonds. But why do we value this act of giving so much? Because in the act of sharing our strengths, resources and time, we recognize the intrinsic connection we share with those around us. This acknowledgement transcends individualism and connects us to something larger, a network of mutual support where everyone can feel safe and valued. The true magic of altruism, however, lies not only in the act of giving, but also in the beauty of receiving. Allowing someone to help us can be as challenging as offering help, as it requires vulnerability and trust. The mutual exchange of support creates a virtuous cycle of generosity and gratitude, strengthening friendship and fostering a sense of community. Furthermore, personal sacrifice on behalf of a friend acts as a powerful reminder that in a world often marked by selfishness, there's still room for acts of selfless kindness. These gestures serve not only to aid those in need, but also to inspire others to act similarly, creating ripples of positivity that can transform entire communities. So, the next time you find yourself with the opportunity to offer support to a friend, remember the story of the oak tree. Think about the impact your actions can have, not just on the life of the person you're helping, but also on the world around you. Being a safe haven for others, especially in times of storm, is one of the greatest demonstrations of love and friendship we can offer. And in doing so, we discover that by giving, we receive so much more in return. Strengthened bonds, shared joy, and the assurance that together we are stronger. Third, be grateful. Cultivating a grateful heart is like planting flowers in a garden that everyone can admire. Gratitude not only transforms the one who practices it, but also warms the hearts of those around. Recognizing and appreciating the actions and love we receive from friends is a key piece in the mosaic of lasting and meaningful human relationships. This expression of appreciation is the fertile soil where friendship blooms and strengthens, creating an unbreakable bond between souls. When we talk about being thankful for the support and affection from our friends, it's about much more than mere formality or polite gesture. It's about acknowledging the intrinsic value of these gestures, understanding that in a world where everyone is busy with countless tasks and concerns, someone chose to dedicate a part of their time, their energy, or even their resources to support us or make us feel loved. This awareness creates an emotional reciprocity where appreciation is not only felt but shared, enhancing the beauty of the connection between friends. Not taking the support and affection we receive for granted means being aware of the countless ways love and care can manifest. Sometimes it's a listening ear when we need to vent. Other times it could be a gesture of encouragement in a moment of doubt or a simple act of presence, showing that we are together, even in silence. Each of these actions, big or small, carries a tremendous weight of meaning and should be valued as such. The practice of gratitude teaches us to look beyond ourselves, to notice and value the people in our life in a more profound and meaningful way. It encourages us to express our appreciation, not just in words, but also through our actions. A simple thank you, a hug, a handwritten note, or even a gesture of returning affection can brighten someone's day and reinforce the understanding that they make a real difference in our lives. Furthermore, gratitude has the power to transform our outlook on life. In times of hardship, Remembering the friends and acts of kindness we've received can be a source of strength and hope. It reminds us that we are not alone, that we are valued, and that there is beauty and goodness in the world, even in the darkest moments. 
Therefore, make gratitude a daily practice. Let it be the language with which you nurture your friendships, creating a virtuous circle of love and appreciation. By doing so, you not only enrich your own life experiences, but also contribute to a world where kindness and mutual understanding flourish. Remember, each act of gratitude is a seed planted in the garden of friendship, which over time will grow and become a beautiful haven of connection, support, and shared love. Fourth, understand the impact of actions. In the complex fabric of human relationships, every gesture, word, and silence has the power to deeply affect the course of a friendship. Understanding the impact our actions can have is crucial for building and maintaining healthy and meaningful connections. Just as a stone thrown into a calm lake creates ripples that spread across the surface, our actions reverberate, influencing the dynamics of our relationships often in ways we cannot predict or control. Neglect, forgetfulness, or even a misplaced word can cause deep fissures in the trust and affection that sustain friendships. It's easy to underestimate the weight of our actions or words, especially in a world that often values speed and efficiency over depth and reflection. However, it's precisely in reflection in the pause before acting or speaking, that we find the opportunity to consider the potential impact of our choices on others. Acknowledging that each action has lasting consequences is also recognizing our responsibility in cultivating positive relationships. This doesn't mean walking on eggshells, fearing every step or word, but rather developing an empathetic awareness, a sensitivity to how our behaviors affect those around us. It means asking ourselves, will this strengthen our friendship or put it at risk? On the other hand, awareness of the impact of our actions opens us to the transformative power of positive gestures. An act of kindness, a word of support, or even the willingness to listen can have a profoundly healing effect. Reinforcing the bonds of friendship and building a solid foundation of mutual respect and affection. These gestures, though they may seem small, are the pillars upon which lasting relationships are built. Moreover, understanding the impact of our actions allows us to handle conflicts more effectively, instead of allowing misunderstandings to turn into enduring resentments we can choose to approach issues with honesty, seeking to understand and be understood. This approach not only helps resolve conflicts, but also deepens trust and mutual understanding, essential elements for any healthy relationship. Finally, this awareness encourages us not to take the people in our lives for granted. Valuing every shared moment, every gesture of kindness, becomes a conscious practice of appreciation and gratitude. By doing so, we create an environment where friendship can thrive, free from the poisons of neglect and carelessness. Therefore, may we all strive to be more mindful of the impact of our actions, choosing paths that strengthen the bridges of understanding and affection. On this journey, we'll discover that by caring for our relationships with sensitivity and awareness, we not only enrich the lives of those around us, but also find greater meaning and satisfaction in our own lives. Fifth, learn from the past. Just as the new oak tree raises its robust branches toward the sky, carrying with it the wisdom and lessons from predecessors now resting in the soil that nourishes it, we too bear the marks and memories of our lived experiences. Each relationship, each encounter, each farewell offers a treasure trove of learnings waiting to be discovered and valued. The ability to look back, reflect on our actions and their repercussions, and draw wisdom for the future is among the most valuable skills we can develop. Learning from the past does not mean living in it, trapped by regrets or nostalgia. 
Instead, it involves a conscious exploration of our stories, identifying behavioral patterns, decisions that brought us joy or pain, and understanding how these experiences have shaped who we are today. By doing this, we can acknowledge the mistakes we've made and the lessons they taught us, allowing us to move forward with a new perspective and a commitment not to repeat the same errors. In this process of introspection and learning, it's crucial to approach our past memories and experiences with kindness and compassion for ourselves. Every mistake, every stumble was a step on the path of growth. Without these moments, we wouldn't have the depth, resilience and wisdom we possess today. Thus, instead of punishing ourselves for past errors, we should be thankful for the lessons they brought us and the opportunity to make different choices in the future. Moreover, learning from the past empowers us to build stronger and more meaningful relationships. With an understanding of the dynamics that harmed previous relationships, we can strive to communicate better, be more empathetic, establish healthy boundaries, and cultivate patience and understanding. This is the true power of learning from experience. It transforms us, enabling us to cultivate richer, deeper, and more satisfying relationships. It's also important to remember that this learning isn't limited to our own experiences. Just as the new oak benefits from the nutrients left by the generations that preceded it, we can enrich our understanding by observing the experiences of others. Listening to their stories, understanding their mistakes and successes, and applying these learnings in our own lives is a way to accelerate our growth and avoid common pitfalls. Therefore, view the past not as a burden, but as a rich manual of wisdom, ready to guide us toward a future of more rewarding and meaningful relationships. In doing so, each step we take, every decision we make, becomes more informed, more conscious, and more aligned with the person we wish to be. And thus, step by step, we transform not just our relationships, but also ourselves, growing toward our best version. If you're enjoying this, don't forget to comment your opinion. And if you have nothing to comment, just comment life-changing along with today's date. Let's keep going. Sixth, openness to new friendships. After facing disappointments and emotional storms, it may seem tempting to close the doors of our hearts, erecting barriers to protect ourselves from future pain. However, it's precisely in these moments that openness to new connections and friendships becomes most precious, like a garden that, after a storm, reopens itself to the sun, allowing new seeds to germinate and bloom. So too can our hearts, when open, give way to new stories and bonds of friendship that bring color and meaning to life. Keeping an open heart after disappointments is not an act of forgetting past pains, but rather a testament to strength and resilience. It's an acknowledgement that, although we have been hurt, our capacity to love and connect with others remains intact, perhaps even stronger and wiser because of our lived experiences. Learning to trust again does not mean disregarding the lessons of the past, but applying them in a way that allows us to move forward with more discernment and understanding about who deserves our time and energy. Openness to new friendships is also a journey of self-discovery. Each person who enters our life brings a universe of experiences, perspectives, and stories that can enrich our worldview and our understanding of humanity. Allowing ourselves to form new bonds is opening the door to learning, growing, and exploring new dimensions of ourselves that we might never have discovered otherwise. Furthermore, each new friendship offers an opportunity to build relationships based on a more solid foundation of self-knowledge and clarity about our values and boundaries. With every disappointment overcome, we gain a greater understanding of what is truly important to us in a relationship, what we are willing to offer, 
and what we expect to receive. This refining process helps us to choose more wisely the people we want around us, those who reflect and respect our deepest values. Sixth, openness to new friendships. After facing disappointments and emotional storms, it may seem tempting to close the doors of our hearts, erecting barriers to protect ourselves from future pain. However, it's precisely in these moments that openness to new connections and friendships becomes most precious, like a garden that, after a storm, reopens itself to the sun, allowing new seeds to germinate and bloom. So too can our hearts, when open, give way to new stories and bonds of friendship that bring color and meaning to life. Keeping an open heart after disappointments is not an act of forgetting past pains, but rather a testament to strength and resilience. It's an acknowledgement that, although we have been hurt, our capacity to love and connect with others remains intact, perhaps even stronger and wiser because of our lived experiences. Learning to trust again does not mean disregarding the lessons of the past, but applying them in a way that allows us to move forward with more discernment and understanding about who deserves our time and energy. Openness to new friendships is also a journey of self-discovery. Each person who enters our life brings a universe of experiences, perspectives and stories that can enrich our worldview and our understanding of humanity. Allowing ourselves to form new bonds is opening the door to learning, growing and exploring new dimensions of ourselves that we might never have discovered otherwise. Furthermore, each new friendship offers an opportunity to build relationships based on a more solid foundation of self-knowledge and clarity about our values and boundaries. With every disappointment overcome, we gain a greater understanding of what is truly important to us in a relationship, what we are willing to offer, and what we expect to receive. This refining process helps us to choose more wisely, the people we want around us, those who reflect and respect our deepest values. Trust, rebuilt after being broken, is a mosaic carefully assembled piece by piece with patience and understanding. Each new friendship is a chance to apply the glue of experience to strengthen this mosaic, making it more beautiful and resilient than before. And in doing so, we discover that the act of trusting is not just about others, but also an affirmation of trust in ourselves, in our ability to overcome pain, to judge others' character, and most importantly, to continue loving despite everything. Therefore, even in the face of adversity, choose to keep your heart open to the new. View each encounter as a door opening to infinite possibilities of joy, learning and connection. Remember that in the grand fabric of life, each new friendship is a golden thread that adds strength, beauty and richness to the tapestry of our existence. And it is in this openness this willingness to embrace the new that lies the true magic of human relationships. If you're enjoying this, don't miss out on the opportunity. Purchase the ebook now, Stoicism in the 21st Century, Ancient Strategies for Modern Challenges, and unlock your prosperity, abundance, and improve your relationships with this ebook. Link in the pinned comment. Seventh, cultivate empathy. Cultivating empathy is akin to watering a garden blooming with the most diverse species of plants, each with its specific needs for light, water and nutrients. Similarly, each person we connect with carries within them a unique emotional universe, filled with experiences, hopes and fears that shape their perception of the world. Empathy, this sublime ability to put ourselves in another's place, to feel with them, is the fertile soil where deep and meaningful relationships grow and develop. Understanding and sharing the feelings of others goes beyond a mere exercise of imagination. It's a practice that requires openness, vulnerability, and a genuine willingness to connect with someone else's reality. When we exercise empathy, 
We transcend our own perspectives and experiences, drawing closer to the heart and mind of another person, which allows for a deeper understanding of their emotions and motivations. This empathic connection has the power to transform relationships as it creates a safe space where mutual understanding can flourish. In situations of conflict, for example, empathy allows us to see beyond our own defenses and instinctual reactions, paving the way for solutions that consider the needs and feelings of all parties involved. Instead of building walls, we build bridges bringing together people who would otherwise remain isolated in their own perspectives. The practice of empathy also enriches our experience of the world, allowing us to learn from the diversity of human experiences. By opening ourselves to feel with others, we expand our emotional and cognitive horizons, discovering new ways to see and interact with the world around us. This not only makes us more compassionate and understanding individuals, but also wiser and more connected to the web of life. Moreover, empathy is an essential ingredient in cultivating a more just and caring society. By recognizing and validating the emotions of others, especially those whose voices are often marginalized or ignored, we contribute to the creation of a world where respect and mutual understanding prevail over prejudice and indifference. Cultivating empathy, therefore, is an act of courage and love. It requires us to be willing to venture out of our emotional comfort zone, to confront our own biases and limitations, and to open ourselves to the complexity of human experience. But the rewards of this journey are immeasurable. Through empathy, we strengthen our relationships, enrich our understanding of ourselves and others, and contribute to the creation of a more connected and humane world. Therefore, may we all strive to be more empathetic in our daily lives, remembering that at the heart of empathy lies the simple but powerful truth that despite our numerous differences, we share the same humanity. Eighth, promote human connection. In the digital age we live in, surrounded by screens that promise to connect us with the world, paradoxically, we may find ourselves navigating a sea of isolation. The ease of communication through electronic devices, although useful and revolutionary, does not replace the richness and depth of face-to-face -face interactions. Promoting human connection, eye contact, the exchange of smiles, the warm hug is essential for nurturing our emotional and social health, bringing vibrant color to the grayscale screen of digital daily life. Face-to-face -face interactions have an irreplaceable quality that enriches our lives in multifaceted ways. When we share the same physical space with another person, we engage all our senses in communication, the tone of voice, body language, and even the shared energy in the environment contribute to a deeper and more nuanced understanding of the message being conveyed. This sensory richness strengthens our bonds, creating more vivid and meaningful memories. Furthermore, face-to-face -face interactions have the power to reduce the feeling of isolation, a condition increasingly prevalent in our society. The physical presence of another person reminds us that we are not alone, offering comfort and security that are hard to achieve through a screen. In moments of joy, shared presence amplifies our happiness. In moments of sadness, tangible support offers incomparable solace. Promoting human connection in a digital world also means recognizing the importance of creating spaces and opportunities for in-person encounters. Whether organizing family gatherings, meeting friends for a walk in the park, participating in common interest groups, or simply making it a point to have personal conversations with work colleagues, each effort to cultivate face-to-face -face interactions is a step towards a richer and more connected life. Moreover, these in-person interactions teach us the practice of mindfulness. 
Being physically present with another person encourages us to turn off our devices and focus entirely on the moment. This conscious presence not only improves the quality of our communication, but also helps us appreciate more deeply the small details of life. Those that often go unnoticed when we are distracted by our electronic devices. Finally, by valuing and promoting face-to-face -face human connection, we reaffirm our shared humanity. We are reminded that beyond the differences that may separate us, there is a fundamental level of experience and emotion that unites us. This remembrance is vital for building a more empathetic, understanding and caring society. Therefore, as we navigate the wonders and challenges of the digital world, may we always seek and cherish in-person human connections. It is these moments, these face-to-face -face interactions, that truly enrich our lives, lessen our sense of isolation, and remind us of the beauty and depth of the human experience. Now let's turn to a parable for some reflection. In a serene corner of the forest, far from the beaten paths, stood a majestic oak. Its vigorous branches and dense foliage provided shade and refuge. A boy, a natural explorer, discovered the oak during his adventures in the woods. He quickly became enchanted with the tree, climbing its branches, reading in its shade, and talking to it as if it were a long-time confidant. The oak, in turn, felt rejuvenated by the boy's presence. It longed for his visits, which filled its days with laughter and joy. However, as the boy grew up, his visits became less frequent. He found new friends, new pastimes, and the oak grew increasingly lonely. One day, the boy, now a young man, appeared with a melancholic expression. He told the oak about his financial struggles and how he needed money to achieve his dreams. The oak, wishing to help, suggested that the young man gather and sell its acorns. Despite some reluctance, the young man accepted the offer and promised to return soon. Days stretched into months and months into years. The young man did not return and the oak was left desolate missing the friendship it cherished so much. Finally, after many years, the young man, now fully grown, returned to the clearing. He was sad and weary, lamenting that life had not taken the paths he had dreamed of. The oak, despite the pain of abandonment, felt compassion for the man. It offered its sturdy branches so the man could build a house, a refuge to start over. The man accepted the offer and built his home, but once established, he again forgot about the oak. Years later, the man, now aged and lonely, longed to travel and explore the world. Without hesitation, he cut down the oak's trunk to build a boat, leaving behind what remained of his old friend. The trunk of the oak, now just a stump, remained still and silent. Over time, a new sapling sprouted, grew, and became a robust oak, witnessing the continuity of life. When a new child approached, wanting to make friends, the new oak remained silent, absorbing the lesson from its predecessor's story. It enjoyed life, but kept its heart guarded against the disillusionments of unfulfilled promises. We're nearing the end of this incredible journey together, but this is just the beginning. If you felt inspired, moved, or simply want more, don't worry. We have much more content like this waiting for you on our channel. So, if you're eager to uncover more secrets to a fulfilling life and meaningful relationships, click the subscribe button right now. Don't forget to leave your like, comment your thoughts, and share with your friends. Together, we can create a community where everyone can find comfort, support, and inspiration. Thank you for being with us, and see you in the next video.